What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. Jeepers Creepers 4. Now I know I did that video yesterday with the lawsuit and kind of just opened this can of worms I would say as it pertains to you know the big 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 bigger biggest biggest main reason I would say why we haven't heard anything about Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Because of the fact that you know it's held up in this this lawsuit this fraud lawsuit involving myriad pictures infinity films who apparently went ahead and allegedly produced this movie filmed this movie without myriad pictures knowledge when they were supposed to have some type of knowledge and some type of involvement with it they had been working on the movie since 2018 2019 and then the movie was shot in secret they didn't have any of the cast members involved that they that they should have had apparently i guess and now this is stuck in this court case the movie is expected to come out this year you know the whole 2022 thing i think that's mostly just because that's them that's their wishful thinking screen media is doing their best job to uh, again just i guess wishfully think this movie will be released this year i have a bet i have a bet that if this movie were to be released this year that i would just make things worse for them only because of the fact that it's an ongoing trial and now from what I've seen, and I'll leave a link to it in the description once again for you to guys see on that website where the where the court in all the details and updates about it are mentioned. This looks like it could drag on into 2024. And shout out to Killjoy Jake. Shout out to also Fake Decided. I've seen you guys cover this with some couple of videos you've done on your separate channels. So shout out to you guys for covering it. Uh, I am expecting some other outlets like news outlets to eventually start publishing articles about this as well. And you know, I do want to say that maybe there is a chance that Myriad Pictures is the one, of course, who is wrong here. But the thing about it is with these people who they are going after, there's a lot of stuff and dirt that is just able to be found and kind of pieced together when you start searching individuals names that are associated with this upcoming jeepers creepers 4 project and the fact that this is seeming like it's going to drag on into 2024 gives me the idea that we're not going to see this movie at all whatsoever it's most likely if it were to be released if myriad pictures comes away with the advantage in this case they will probably receive a lot of the profits from it and you know what there's also a good chance that what may happen is it gets scrapped altogether and maybe in 2024 when this is settled hopefully it gets settled before then but that's supposed to be officially 23 years after the second movie that's 23 years we're officially in the year that we were in at the end of jeepers creepers 2 creeper is supposed to be reawakening in that year and if everything is set in stone and everything is fine and dandy and maybe myriad pictures were to get everything lined up or whoever is control of this by the end of it uh whoever needs to get their ish together if it's dead and gone so be it but my hope and i know a lot of your hope would be that something happens where you can still have victor not involved we know he's gonna of course have some type of legal legal rights to have some financial benefit from it that's that much is known as far as like being the creator of the ip but if you can find a unique director who can tell their own vision who is starting out who i guess will be willing to take that type of risk and maybe even hopefully relaunch something here with Jonathan Breckback as the Creeper. Uh, and I did speak out with one of the cast members who made it seem like they didn't know this was going on. So I've noticed that a lot of these fan pages also are saying that cast members know. Now, if some of them know and others don't know, then that tells me that there might be some, some dishonesty going on somewhere, of course. But... I don't believe these cast members knew that this was going on. I don't think they knew about this. I think they honestly were sh happy about being a part of a known IP, thought they had an opportunity to, to potentially gain more attention to themselves as actors, and it just fell through the cracks altogether, unfortunately. I don't think that they knew this was going on, but maybe they did. But in 2024, if everything is all said and done, maybe we can get a proper movie with Jonathan Brick back in the role, Gina Phillips back, or even then still if it's not jonathan Brick, because i again think the biggest problem a lot of you had is this idea about the makeup that was the biggest problem that a lot of you had and even with the director if you actually search this man's name and type in iron sky put lawsuits next to it you can come and come across a lot of stuff related to iron sky certain people leaving things on reddit with documents to back it up all related to put like fraud with crowdfunding all of these different things so these people involved with jeepers creepers 4 uh as it stands right now with a lot of the stuff that i've already seen them associated with it doesn't seem like they're the ones that are in the right here it seems like myriad pictures is not to say that myriad pictures itself hasn't done some shady things as well but 
you know maybe this is all said and done by the end of 2024 and if it is we'll get something proper or this franchise is just dead and gone honestly that might be for the better too just because of how we have already made it this far in our lives without getting a proper movie we can keep going we'll be fine without this ip um jonathan breck and what he did in those first two movies will will be remembered forever i mean the creeper in and of itself while blacklisted for a lot of people they do still consider it a a big mark that he left in this in this genre for what he brought to the table with that character so if it were to be done properly if many years later from now or sooner of course rather than later and they are able to bring back everyone from the first movie in the sense of the people who let their trucks be used and bringing back some other creative team members and get some proper uh maybe better improved makeup and it's a different actor i think you all will be okay with that you'll be okay with that you'll be okay with having a creeper back in on your screen with better makeup that resembles what jonathan breck looked like giving their own iteration and something you can probably be more proud of with a more skilled director i want to add and someone else who is maybe a much better gifted writer someone you are more familiar with and hopefully something that's just not rooted in a bunch of chaos but honestly right now i think the hopes of this movie coming out are about the only thing we'll get with a jeepers creepers movie so if it is to be released and it's trash i mean that will just be another movie i discard won't watch it until we get something proper at this point i i do want to add it i do think one day we will i think one day we will get someone who takes on that risk and just tries to make their make their name for themselves by cleaning up a tainted ip and i think i think we'll get something one day but right now it just seems like it is going to be dead and gone for at least until 2024 but hopefully whatever this is that's going on it'll get settled there's supposed to be a court hearing on may 2nd so that's in a couple of days so what i might start doing is just covering any updates to come out about this and seeing who ends up being in the right and who ends up being in the wrong and what new details keep coming out because we need to i feel like pay attention to this stuff some people like these fan pages are going to tell you you don't if you care about this then i think you should so just pay attention if you want to if you don't care about it then don't i don't care really <laughs> but let me know down in the comment section what you think about all this let me if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post occasion never miss a video in the description i link some social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video